I'm Len Topic, Ascardia's Chair of Parliament, and I wanted to update you on our work as a Parliament and to share my thoughts on the visionary direction set by our Head of Nation, Dr Igor Ashabeli, in his recent historic question and answer session to the Nation. In the first few months of this year, we've evolved in three very interesting ways. Firstly, we're exploring a new translation system in our digital conference platform, Zoom. So far, it reaches three languages, English, Russian and Spanish, and this is working well. I want to evolve this over time to reach all 12 official languages of Ascardia. I'm glad we are already language friendly to over 3 billion people. Let's do this for all humanity. I think we're on the way. Secondly, our government is in a period of reformation after the resignation of the ministers and prime minister earlier this year. Now, there's been a lot of discussion and chat about this in political circles, and I've heard quite a few conspiracy theories as well. The actual reason for the resignation of government and the Prime Minister is in fact very simple. It became clear that a revision in the process, the relationship between Parliament and government, would help get the most working benefit from both bodies. Now, the easiest way to do that was to start with a clean sheet for government and then re-establish it based on what we've all learned over the last few years. It's really as straightforward as that. You may also be interested to know that the former Prime Minister, Ana Mercedes Diaz, continues to play a central role in Escardia as one of our Head of Nations' key advisors. So we have her continued experience and input, while well, many of the former ministers have moved into administration, so we haven't lost them either. The next government is likely to be in place for the next physical sitting of Parliament later this year, and then we'll be stronger than ever. Thirdly, we've created a highly effective parliamentary committee system now. This is responsible for delivering results in the 12 key areas of focus for our political activity. We're still learning, but I can say I've never seen our Parliament in such good shape. This year, we also saw another historical first for Escardia and actually for human politics. The first fully digital question and answer session by our Head of Nation, Dr. Igor Ashabeli. In this session, our Head of Nation responded to questions from around the world and shared some exciting news about his future plans for Escardia. You can see the whole broadcast on Escardia's website, by the way. For me, some of the most important announcements related to achieving the safe and healthy birth of a human in space. That's a vital step to the continued success of humanity off Earth. Dr. Ashabeli rightly reminded us that this is necessary uh, unless we want to be forever tied in orbit or near to Earth uh, and then be forced to come home every time we want to continue the species. No great voyage into space can be limited in that way. He also stated his absolute commitment to securing international recognition by other countries and by the United Nations for Ascardia. And he outlined the potential for great economic prosperity for Ascardia and Ascardians as we evolve our economy with a fascinating concept of an Ascardian financial arc. And perhaps most significant of all, Dr. Ashabeli reminded us of why we do all this by revealing plans for future space launches and potentially a human-capable module, uh, perhaps by skipping an entire phase of conventional hardware development. Now, looking ahead, the current COVID-19 pandemic is affecting just about every nation. It's a serious problem and Ascardians are just as likely to experience the disease as anyone else. But Ascardia, the nation, will not be affected like that. We're already digital, so our business continues and we don't need to cancel our democracy or impose restrictions on our residents. We can keep calm and carry on. Some of our physical events are being rescheduled and you'll hear more about that, the new timetable, as we get a clearer picture regarding the evolution of the COVID-19 disease pandemic. But we keep planning, talking, passing legislation and preparing for space. And the business of setting up the government also continues, and there will be more announcements and news on that very soon. Remember, we're also holding a by-election to fill all the remaining spaces in the Parliament. I'm determined to reach the full 150 places uh, before the end of the year. If you're not an AMP, why not stand? Uh, perhaps 
you could make a significant contribution uh, towards building the economy, help us becoming recognized as a nation, and perhaps you can support the vision of the first human birth in space. These are remarkable goals and we can achieve them all together. So think about that. At a time of challenge for all Earth nations, there's never really been a better time to become a part of the world's first space nation. Escadia is open for business and we're here to help solve some of the problems of Earth as part of the community of humankind and also as pathfinders to a new community of humanity in space. Become an Escadian resident if you can. Become an Escadian member of parliament if that interests you. Become a pioneer and help us create a legacy that will define the very best we can be, not just here on Earth, but in space for centuries to come.